So last night I watched the movie Primer, and I gotta say, damn, that was really good. It's the kind of cult classic movie that I really love to see, and I'm gonna try to say as little as possible in this video so as not to spoil any plot details for any of you guys who might want to see it. But basically, it's one of those twisty movies that really messes with your head. It gives you the same sort of feeling that you get after watching something like Inception or The Prestige, except I would say Primer is really, really cool and a lot better than those movies in the sense that it's all based around reality. It's all based on scientific stuff. Uh, the guy who made it is an engineer. It's really, really interesting. Not everyone will like it, but it's the smart, twisty kind of movie that I really love. Anyway, I watched that movie last night, right as I was eating dinner, and then I watched it again right before I went to bed. It's one of those kinds of films where, like, each subsequent viewing gives you more information about everything. But after watching it the second time, somewhere between, like, midnight and 2 a.m., I, I went to sleep. Or at least I tried to, but I could not get any sleep whatsoever because that movie just kept my brain working all night long. Like, I swear, I didn't shut my eyes until, like, 5 in the morning. If I seem a little tired in today's video, that might be why. I was so freaked out about everything, my brain was just so active. It kept on running and running, thinking about all these different things in the movie. There was no way I was going to settle down enough to sleep anytime soon. That's something I found myself doing a lot recently, and I kind of wonder if other people do this too. Do you guys ever end up immersing yourself in some show, game, or movie or something, and then you you can't stop thinking about it, like your brain just switches into this mode where everything that you think is like along the same lines of that whatever. Like let me give you an example, Tetris. Have you guys ever played Tetris a ton and then you just keep on seeing Tetris blocks falling in your dreams whenever you close your eyes, those blocks keep on falling and you keep on solving imaginary puzzles? That's actually a scientific thing, it's called the Tetris effect. I do it all the time with a lot of stuff outside of just like puzzle games though. I do it especially with movies and TV shows. Like House of Cards is one of my favorite shows. You guys know House of Cards, the American version with Kevin Spacey on Netflix right now. One of the signature things the main character does in House of Cards is he sort of narrates his thoughts and plans and gives anecdotes to the audience like breaking the fourth wall. I love to binge watch that show, watch entire seasons at a time, especially since the releases of the seasons, every episode comes out the same day. So often after binging on the show, I will very frequently narrate to an imaginary audience my thoughts for Dirk as the day goes on. Not out loud or anything, I probably still look like an insane person, but you know what I mean, right? I feel like whenever your brain experiences something over and over and over, whether it's a show, movie, game, or whatever, it starts thinking along the lines of the stuff that you're experiencing, is my point. Watching that show makes me want to go try and take over the world. Anyway, though, tying this into League of Legends, because I do have a point with all this, do any of you guys think that watching streams can have a similar effect on you? League of Legends is an interesting game where all of the really hyper popular streamers, the ones that get 10,000 or more viewers all the time, they're pretty much exclusively pro players. That's what gives them their viewers, not their personalities necessarily, but the gameplay. There are good personalities out there, like I'm a cutie pie and not every popular streamer is a pro, there's Trick2G. But if you look at all the people that constantly get like 20,000 views or more, they're almost always people that viewers discover because they're pros, because of the high-rated gameplay. Any of you who watch pro streams, do you try and watch pro streams to kind of immerse yourself sometimes, or at least pick something up from the high-rated play that you can hopefully remember for later? Oh my god, that was awful. I'm not putting that in the video. Hoping that maybe you can get a little bit better because of it? Leave a comment down below. I'm a little bit interested. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble a little bit now, so I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. But as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, though, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day. Of course, right as I start to wrap up the video, we start doing good. <laughs>